so that's George. I've got a picture of Keith. A uh, couple pictures of the view at the farm. Where are the pictures that are the horses? Where have they gone? Oh, they're there. That's it. That's it. And then there's an unfortunate picture of me. <laughs> right, I think I've got everything then. Just need to do the final thing. Mm. Hey, oh. Who's this? It's George. Hello? Hey, yo. Bloody hell. Where the bloody hell are you? I'm, I'm on my way. I'm on my way. Well, bloody hell, what time are you calling this? You do know it's been his last day, don't you? Yeah, I know that. Of course I do. That's what I'm doing. I'm just organising that thing I did for her. All right, then. Well, bloody hell, hurry up, because she's bloody sitting here outside on the last day, and I'm surprised you're not here. Come on. I am. I'm coming. I'm just, like I said, I'm just sorting stuff out. I'll be there. I have got some time, though, before she wants to drop them horses off, haven't I? Well, well, she only said out to me, so I imagine so. Bloody hell, you've bloody sorted this out on me. All right, then. Well, I'm sure I have. I bloody hope I have, anyway. All right, I'm coming down now. All right, then. Hurry up. Will do. Bloody hell, fire. I mean, I'm pretty early. This isn't late. And I've got to sort this out. I've got to. Hmm. Bittersweet day. It is Beanie's last day, but she'll be back. And, uh, yeah, I've decided to do something for her, so I'm hoping she'll like it and it'll, you know, make her think about the farm and, uh, was locked back here, really. But yeah, I've got to go take my horses with her. I did say that and I'm not going to let her down, but definitely got to do a few things before that, so we best race back. I'll have a quick chat with Beanie. And then hopefully I've got at least, yeah, let's say an hour. And that should be all right. Hopefully, anyway. We can worry about all the farm jobs after. Is she round the back? Yeah, she's there. That's where her truck is anyway. Right, let's pull over here and just have a quick chat. You alright, Beanie? Yeah, I'm not too bad. You sure? Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> Last day. I know. It's kind of hitting home now what I've decided to do. You'll be fine, honestly. You're probably nervous, but it's not too far away, is it, Island? So, you know, at any point you can always come back. What is it, like half an hour on a plane? It's not too bad. True. I'm just going to miss everything. Think about everything you're going to do and how exciting it is and all the stuff you're going to learn. And, uh, yeah. This will all be here waiting when you get back anyway. I oh, know. Thanks for that. It's all right. I know. I did think you'd probably be a bit nervous, but yeah, you're doing the right thing, Beanie. You've got to follow a chance like this. Once in a lifetime, isn't it? Opportunity, so I don't think anyone's going to blame you. Thanks, Croft. Uh, I really appreciate that. Uh, so what time do you want to go down and drop your horses off then, with it being your last day? Uh, well, I've got a couple of last-minute bits and bobs that I need to do, you know, a bit tidy and last-minute packing kind of thing, so maybe an hour, hour and a half. An hour and a half? That is perfect for me. Just got a few things to do first, but I'll I'll meet you here in an hour and a half. How about that? Perfect. Thanks, Scraft. No worries, Beanie. See you soon, then. See ya. Hour and a half, here we go. Gives me plenty of time to do what I've got to do. Uh, well, like I said, the farm jobs we'll, we'll sort out. We'll definitely sort them out soon. Let's um, let's go see, speak to George first. Get this sorted out. You're right, George. Well, oh, bloody hell, where the bloody hell have you been? I'm here now anyway, doing a faff. Faffin', you're the bloody faffer. All day long, you faff. <laughs> I haven't had enough chance to faff yet. Well, that's because you got to get out of bed late. Come on. 
Have you spoke to her? Yeah, I've just been out and spoke to her. Oh, well, have, you t- have you told her what you've done? No, of course I haven't. I want it to be a bit of a surprise. I think she'll love it. It's a bloody good idea. Bloody romance, aren't you, you? Oh, bloody hell, look at you. Coming up with these bloody smooth ideas. <laughs> I tell you what, bloody proud I am. Proud. <laughs> it's in for that reason, George, and you know it. Well, bloody hell still. Smooth as hell. Smooth as hell. <laughs> anyway, come here. Well, right, what do you want me to do then? Right, well, just make sure she doesn't see through that window. W- what is it I'm doing? Right, there's your picture. Just just write a message on it. What, what do you mean, write a message on it? What do you think? I mean, just it's, just say something like goodbye or whatever you want to say. Just put something on here. You know, anything. Oh, oh I'll get you. I'll get you. I can do that. All right. Well, just write it on. Just put it on the back. On the back of that picture. That's, that'll be fine. Right then. Bloody hell, look at these pictures you got here. What's that? What do you think it is? It's the, the view from outside the farm. What, looking down at donut shop? Well, it's got the donut shop in, but I'm not looking at the donut shop. Bloody hell, it's a good shop. Uh, hey, it's a good picture, that is. But kind of makes me hungry, though. I think I might go donut shop after this. Bloody hell, George. <laughs> Just bloody sign the picture. I've got to go down to Keith's and get him sign his. Oh, bloody hell, you're getting Keith sign one. <laughs> oh, God. You do want this girl come back, don't you? Yeah, of course I do. Well, bloody hell, if you're getting Keith sign one, she's going to get think, bloody hell, thank God I'm not bloody there anymore. Oh, God. It's like you're trying to put her off. No, <laughs> she'll like it. And Keith sound, George. Oh, no, I'm only pulling your leg. It's a good idea, this is. Just give me five minutes and I'll have it done. Let me think about what I want to put. All right, then. Make a bloody brew or something. I will. It's all I ever seem to do. Well, well, will you then make me one? Pfft, bloody hell. I will do. Hey, if you go down at shot, I'll have some. No, bloody no, no. I'll, I don't I don't think I can do that. What do you mean you don't think you can do that? How many times have I got you donuts? I don't give a damn. I've only got so many hands. George, you can pick up a few bags of donuts and you're not going to eat them all, are you? Maybe. We have a daily amount now. Bloody hell, you're supposed to look after yourself. Hey, we're not getting into that now. Let me focus on this. Bloody hell, fire. Fine. How can you eat that many donuts? It's not even humanly possible. You're like a walking bin bag. A bloody walking bin bag? You cheeky bugger. I'm not wrong with me. I'm quite mobile. Tch. Bloody hell, if you eat that many donuts, you ain't. Right, there's your brew. Well, oh, nice one. Right, I've done that. I think that'll be a right, won't it? Have a look at that. Yeah, that's nice, George. She'll like that. Right, right. You best get down to Keith then, aren't you? Get it done. Have you got one? Oh, there's nothing on the back of your picture. No, I've got... I've, I've done something a little different. What, what, what do you mean? I've, uh Done a letter. What do you mean, a bloody letter? Have you? Can I read it? No, you can't. It's just for your eyes only. Bloody hell fire, Mr. Loverboy. Hey, Bloody Loverboy. Hey, I, I found it easier. Put it down on paper. So, you know, I'll put it at the back and uh, hopefully she'll read it when she's away. Bloody hell fire. You're going to get me start tearing up. No, it's all right, George. It's nothing serious. It's just, I just put down on paper what I feel. And I found it easier to do. So, anyway, come on, just pass it here so I can get going. All right, and oi, it's a good idea. This is you're a good you you're a good guy, and I'm bloody proud of you for this. It'll make a day. Nice one, George. Go on then, get get off. I am. I'm going now. See you in a bit. See you, mate. Bloody hell, fire! Who's the one getting soppy now? Right, let's go race down to to Keith's and yeah, we'll just get him signed the back of this picture of him. I mean, it isn't too crazy. It's just like a scrapbook. So I just thought I'd do a bit of a scrapbook with pictures of the farm. I've got a few of the views and a couple of her horses. And then I got a picture of George, a picture of me and a picture of Keith. And I thought we could all just put a bit of a message on our pictures. 
Just so she knows, you know, we're all here waiting for her when she comes back. That was my idea. But anyway. How am I going to show George that letter? <laughs> i tell you what, but he, I know what he'll do. He'll take the mick out of me. <laughs> I aren't having that. I'm not having it. Then again, he might not, but still. It's for Beanie's eyes only. Just hope I catch Keith. I don't know what he's been up to. I haven't heard of him, so he doesn't even know what I'm doing, Keith doesn't, so I'm hoping he's around. I mean, it's not the end of the world if he's... if he don't, you know, write anything down, but still, be a nice little thing, wouldn't it? Right, whereabouts is he? The gate's open. He ain't down there. Hey, he's picked his bales up. They're away. Hey, oh. <laughs> he's here. All right, Keith. <laughs> mate, uh, have you have you bloody stacked these bales, Keith? <laughs> bloody hell, mate! What have you done them with? Half of them are falling over. <laughs> bloody hell, mate! <sighs> anyway. It's not bad keeping them outside, is it? I know I told you put them under cover. But let them dry out first a bit, eh? First, and then put them under cover. Burr up. You're a burr up. Hey, do me a favour, mate, anyway. See this scrapbook here? I'll lean it on this bale. Burr up. Right. Beanie's last day today, innit? Burr up. Yeah. Do you know anything about that? Burr up. Burr up. Bloody hell, mate. Anyway, listen, I've done this for it. It's just a picture of a few things around the farm, around the area. Right. I've got a picture of you. <laughs> yes, it, it's a picture of you, ah. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> just do me a favour. Take this pen, write her a message on the back. Don't have to be anything crazy, just a goodbye. You know, we'll be here while you we'll be here for you when you come back. All that kind of whatever you want to put. <laughs> Bloody hell that was quick. All the best love. <laughs> right, Keith, that'll do. All the best, love. <laughs> right, I'll leave you to it. I've got to get back. I've got loads to do, but nice one for that. <laughs> hey, and if you need any help stacking them bales, I'll try to tidy them up for you later on. <laughs> what the hell? All the best, love. That is literally what he's put. I mean, I thought, uh, I thought George's was... Short and simple, but that's a uh, that's whole new level. Hey, I tell you what, though, it's nice to understand what he's saying. Maybe I should get like a little whiteboard with a bit of a rope round it, put it round his neck, give him a marker pen, and he can walk around with it. <laughs> and every time I need to understand him, he's got this little whiteboard talk on. <laughs> That'd suit him. Right, let's get back. We'll have a look around the farm, and then, yeah, we'll go and get... We'll go take these horses with Beanie, make sure we've done all that, because I think at that point that'll be it then. She'll have to get all sorted, and I'm sure she'll have a flight. I don't know what time it is, but I know it's today. Right, are we all ready, Beanie? Yeah, they're, they're both in, and they both look happy enough, so... Yeah? Right, well, I've shut the gate, so do you want me to shut up? No, if you want, you can drive and I'll I'll shut up. Are you sure? Yeah, that's fine. Right, let's go, yeah? Yeah, let's go. I'll take me time. Yeah, it's, uh, it's just because of Reuben, because he's not been in the trailer much, so... Just want to make sure that he, you know, we don't terrify him. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure he'll be all right. It's not too far. No, it's not. Yeah, I like your little Land Rover, I have to say. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? Bit nippy, perfect for me. Yeah. Are you going to miss it for a year? Um, I'm, I'm going to miss my home as well. Do you still want me to... Keep an eye on it for you. 
Yeah, if you could, that'd be brill. I've got the spare key here for you. I don't mind doing that. I'll go down like once a week, just check on it. That would be amazing. Thanks, Scraft. No worries. Right, there's a caravan, but we can just about get out. Do you need a lift, or are you getting picked up for the airport? Uh, no, I've got a taxi coming. That's alright then. Right, I'll turn it. It isn't far at all. And I mean, it's a good place to take Winnie and Reuben. I mean, Holly's pretty good with horses, isn't she? So you shouldn't have an issue there. Yeah, I'm really, really lucky to have Holly. I mean, livery for a year like that would cost me a fortune, so she's doing it at a really good price for me, to be fair. Well, me and George would have helped you out anyway. I know, but you got so much going on already, I couldn't put on to you. And with George's big plans, who knows where the farm will be next year. Well, we don't mind. And if you do need it at any point, if you need us to pick up Reuben and Winnie, just say. We'll be straight down there for you. Thank you, Scraft. It's all, it's all right. No problem. So what time's your flight? Um, I'm getting picked up in about two and a half hours. Bloody hell. Soon come round, ain't it? I know. I can't believe how quick it's gone. Well, it should be amazing for you, Beanie. Yeah, I'm really excited, but I'm also really nervous, especially now it's like the final countdown. <laughs> You'll be fine, I promise you. And remember, I'm always a phone call away. I know. You're going to get fed up with how much I'm calling you. <laughs> I doubt it. I doubt it. We're just going straight in the field? Yeah. I'll... I'll go speak to Holly in a minute. Okay. There we go. Want it go steady through there? Oh look, they'll have uh, they'll have some company as well. So they'll definitely keep social out here, won't they? Yeah, it'll be good for them. Plenty of other horses to socialise with and good facilities and you know good people looking after them right, where do you want me to pull up uh, just pull them up here and then we can get them off and get them all sorted and settled in all right no worries all right what do you want me to do uh tell you what why don't you go open that gate and i'll bring them round okay Well, there we go then. That wasn't too bad, was it? And they look happy. They didn't hesitate, did they? No. Are you alright? I'm alright. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm just going to miss them. I'm just going to miss everyone. I know. I don't really know what to say, Beanie, to be honest, but they'll be fine here, and you can see they look happy and... Everyone else will miss you and we'll all be waiting for you when you get back, so just, just, uh, yeah, see the positives and what you're doing. Right, I'll go and uh, speak to Holly. Okay, do you want me to come with you? No, no I don't. <laughs> Why not? Well, you know, it's Holly, she's just a bit much. <laughs> Alright then, I'll, uh, I'll shut this up for you and then um, I'll pull up to the front, so... You can just walk up to me. Thanks for your help, and uh, I'll see you in a minute. No problem. I've enjoyed it. It's nice to spend time with you. Right, so what have you got to do now, then? Uh, not too much, to be fair. Just... Uh, say goodbye to you and George properly and, you know, 
probably should head back home, get my last couple of bits and bobs sorted. I'm, I'm basically parked, but yeah, and then just wait for the taxi. Fair play. At least you haven't got much to do unless you're organised. It kind of reduces all the stress of it, doesn't it? Yeah, that is true. Well, I know George is just sitting in anyway, so we can go straight in if you want. Yeah, we may as well, haven't we? Ah. You're clear. Cheers, Beanie. Oh, man, one year then, eh? <laughs> I'm sure it'll fly by when you're there. Uh, well, I think... I don't know. I think it'll take me a while to get adjusted. I mean, especially in another country. I've never been away from home like that before. That should be a good experience then, at least for that reason. Yeah. I mean, I'm really excited to work with the horses, but... Now that I'm kind of just sat here, it just seems really nerve-wracking. Like, why? Why did I decide to do this? <laughs> That's just natural, Beanie. Honestly. It's natural. I'd be thinking the exact same. Right, let's go speak to George, eh? Right, love. Bloody hell, it's been bloody great, I tell you. And honestly, you've been such an open hand to this farm, and uh, we're gonna be we're gonna be a bit lost for a little bit without you. Uh, but I honestly hope you have the bloody cracking time. I hope you make some blinding memories, because you deserve it. You got a kind heart, love, and I hope, honestly, truly hope you have a good time. And if you need me for anything, absolutely anything. I mean, don't don't even care about what it is. I want you to call me, call me or Scroft. Because we're there for you, okay? Whatever you need. Me and Scroft, we're here for you. So have a bloody brilliant time. And, uh, yeah, make sure you ring and keep in touch as well. I don't really know what to say, honestly. I'm awful at these kind of things, but we're all going to miss you. And, I, and I'm going to miss you loads. I really am. Uh, I can't wait for you to get back already. We've, uh, we've put something together for you anyway, so... It's just a, a little gift for you to take with you on your travels. So, there you go. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Ignore him, Beanie, right? He did it all himself. All of it, right? It was his idea and he, he sorted all that out. So, he doesn't want to take credit for it, but he should. George, it was all of us, right? It was all We've all put something in there. And, yeah, it's just, you know, while you're in, on the plane or over there, you can have a good look and it'll remind you of home. Oh, thank you. Um, I'm really going to miss you guys and the horses, but yeah, I mean, I just, I feel so lucky right now, you know, to have such incredible people to, you know, say goodbye to, but, you know, I'm also going to come home to just the long way around, I suppose, but thank you so much, both of you. Thank you, George, for the for the job and letting me keep Winnie and then Reuben here and, you know, Scroft, I'm really going to miss you. Bloody hell, this is too much for me. Too much, right. I can of cope. Right, I'm going in. See you later, Beanie. Make sure you call. I will. Bye, George. I'll, uh, I'll speak to you soon, yeah? Yeah. Speak to you soon. Scroft. What's up, mate? Go on, pal. I am, I'm coming. Shall we whack, mate? I know, I know. Right, come on then. Bloody blinded thing you did that was for her. She'll love that, you know. She'll sit there reading it and uh Ah, oh. it'll make her think of home and make her think of us, eh? Oh no, I just wanted to know, you know, we care about her and we're going to miss her like mad, really. Don't know what I'll say. Don't you start, don't you dare start. I honour, I'm trying not to anyway. Come on, 
bloody hell, you're going to get me going now. Bloody hell, don't do it. Come on. I know, I know. <sighs> right, come on, let's go sit down. What do you need to do now, don't I? Bloody hell. What do you like, eh? I tell you what. What's bloody nonsense bringing in my life? It was bloody easy when I was on my own. What do bloody people care about? Ah, <laughs> uh, you can say that again. Right, well, come on. We've got plenty of things to talk about. Let's 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 get our mind off this, see. Eh? Right, anyway, come on. What is it you want to talk to me about? You said you had loads of things before. Now's your chance. <sighs> right, so, grain. I was going to ask you about your grain. When are you selling that? What? What will be in? Well, it'll be next month now, won't it? Ah, that's all right then. We can get that sold, get you a bit of cash. You've you've done well, hold on to that. Have you checked it? Well, we, we, you checked it, didn't you, for me that time? So I'm hoping it's still right. Yeah, it should be. That's good to know then. Pig area, I'll sort that out now. I'll focus on that. My aim is to now focus on this farm a lot more. I'll get it sorted, George. All right, and buddy, keep yourself busy. It'll always be good for you. I know, I will. I'll get that pig area sorted out soon enough. Um, and my farm, the only thing I'm going to do is I'm going to plant barley in, but I'm going to do it around springtime. So there's not really much else to do. I'm not going to go crazy. And that money I earned from them bales, I'm just going to I'm just going to save for a bit, George, until I need something. But I don't really need them fields. It's too too much too soon. All right, and whatever you decide on that, that's up to you. I know, but I take your advice to heart, mate, and I think you know it's the best idea. Well, I'll eat them. So, talking about the cows, we've got them calves. I'm going to take them in very soon. Probably tomorrow, I'll take them. What do you mean you'll take them? Them male calves. I'm going to sell them. We don't need them. We're feeding them for no reason. We'll sell them. All right, then. But my question is, do you want me to buy some female calves? Well, I'll have to come with you, then. If that's the case, I'm going to have to come with you, because I'm going to have to see the price and what they look like. Yeah, I think that's a good idea, George. We'll go tomorrow. You've got an eye for it, mate, and I haven't. But we'll take them, we'll sell the eight, we'll replace them with eight. I think that's the best thing to do. Well, we only need sell seven. One of them's a female. All right, and we'll take seven. I'll tell you what we'll do then, same time. Sounds like a good plan, this does. We'll take that bloody ball and we'll replace it with another one. All right, um. Sounds like a good plan as well. Um, I've also got on my list of things to do. You got loads of junk around the yard, George. So at some point, I'm going to clear that out. What do you bloody mean, junk? What junk? Well, you've just got loads of old bits of rubbish just lying around. Oh, ah, uh, all right then. I'll get you on that one. I thought that myself, but I just thought it was such a a bottom of the list kind of job that you know we've left it be. Well, I'm going to get that sorted. I tell you that now. I'm going to get it sorted. Bloody on fire like this version of you. You bloody head screwed on. Look how focused you are. Well, I need to keep myself busy, George, and this farm's going places, clearly. And you've got some good ideas, so I'll get it cleaned up and sorted. All right, then. Oh, that reminds me. I've got the paperwork for them fields. I've agreed a price, so all I've got to do is finalise it, and them fields will be ours. All right, then. That's good to know, then. Ah, uh, and planning permission. I've gone through the first stage of getting planning permission for that bloody upgrade. So we've just got to wait and see on that one. It takes a bit of time, so we're not... We're not to the point yet where I've got the planning permission, but first steps have been taken. All right, and George, sounds good. I've also got on my list of things is the scooter. Bloody hell, it's about bloody time. I'm lost without that bloody scooter. <laughs> well, I'll try my best to get it done. It's on my list, okay? All right, then, that's good enough for me. And the last thing I want to talk to you about is we're going to have to sit down at some point and talk about kit, because if we're getting... All these things, and I know it's not yet, because obviously getting planning permission and then building this bloody cow shed, knocking the other one down, there's loads of things in between. But kit, you even mentioned it yourself. We're going to need to talk about our kit. We can't keep leasing out all the time. It'll eventually cost too much. We keep leasing out the same kit each year. At that point, you just got to buy it, George. Even if it's second-hand, brand new, just get it in. I understand every now and again leasing something that we don't use too much of, but sometimes we're leasing out kit that every year the same type of kit. Well, I know, I know, we'll get it sorted. 
we'll, we'll sit down with that. Let's let's get everything else done first, eh? We'll get the winter jobs done, right? Get these bloody cows in that we need. And at that point, you know, you tidy up a bit, remove the junk, get your bloody barley in its spring, and at some point when planning permission sorted and the bloody shed's getting built, I think that's when we need the kit. All right, and I agree. I agree. Right, well, is that it then? I think so, yeah, for now. I just wanted you to know what my plan was. These next few weeks, at least. I'll clean the yard, get rid of the junk, sort them cows out, and, uh, yeah, I think that's a good start. Well, all right, then. What's your plan for the rest of the day? I was going to go spread some slurry. What do you mean, slurry? You can't be doing it on grass fields. No, grass fields are fine. I was thinking of using some of that slurry out there and getting it on the barley fields now while we can drive on it. Oh, uh, hey... That's a bloody cracking idea. Well, I'll get rid of it soon before the bloody... We end up like Keith and have an overflowing bloody slurry pit, eh? <laughs> we don't want that. No, that's exactly what I was thinking. All right, then. Ah, oh, get out in them fields. Ah, I'm thinking at least just do one. Yeah, no worries. Right, well, I'll crack on with it then, George. All right, then, buddy. Hey, hey. Fancy going pub after. Bloody too right, George. Definitely. I could do with a beer. Well, there we go then. You go get one of them fields done, and then we'll go have a party. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Right, nice one, George. Appreciate you always. Well, same to you, mate. Right, let's go keep busy. It's been a while since I've been in this slurry tanker. Feels like that anyway. But it's uh, definitely the right time of year to get this slurry out. At least just chip away at it. We can do a fair few loads on that bloody field. We'll just do the small one to start with. And uh, yeah, it just means we're keeping on top of it. We definitely don't want to do what George says, which is have a bloody slurry pit like Keith did that time. I bet it's getting close again. We'll get a phone call soon about that. <laughs> He's got loads, but at least we should have the fields for it. If needs be. Yeah, it doesn't need tidying. I mean, there's a load of junk here on the right that needs to go. It's been here since we've moved in. But yeah, we need to tidy that kind of stuff up because, you know, it just makes the farm look better, doesn't it? So, it's been a while since I've done this. Bloody forget these things, but let's turn the pump on. There we go. Let's get this spread. It'll do this crop a world of good. Give it a good head start and hopefully mean that, you know, it'll strengthen it up going through them frosty winter months that are proper on the doorstep now. We aren't too far away, are we, from... Probably seen a bit of snow here. Uh, tell you what, Keith's not had much luck with them bales, has he? <laughs> you can bloody say that again. Started raining, hasn't it? What's he done with them? He stacked them up. And he left them outside dry a bit because he didn't want to put them inside too wet. Oh, God, I shouldn't laugh at him. Bloody hell. Oh, he's had some bloody bad luck, that lad has. Honestly, it's raining again. I mean, I mean, at this point, you may as well just throw him in the bloody sea. <laughs> I, should, I, I don't know. It, it's crazy, isn't it? Uh, anyway, let's go have this bloody pint. Yeah, we're going to have a few, George. Hey, no, you're bloody talking. See, we're speaking same language now, aren't we? More than one pint? Yes, please. I'll bloody sign up to that all day. All day. Well, there we go then, eh? Ah, uh, definitely need it. All right, then. You might have to find your own way back, George. Uh, what are you on about? Well, I'm just going to walk home, I am, after I'm done. Oh, bloody hell, fire. Well, you'd be all right, George. You can figure it out. Well, all right then. Bloody hell. 
Will we stay in your caravan? Nope. Not happening. Not after last time, George. No way in hell. Well, you know about I want that bad. You wanted that bad? I woke you up the next day and you were blaming me for the fact that it was too warm in the caravan. Well, it bloody was. I'm sure you were trying to kill me. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I'm not going to try to kill you. It was called being hungover, George, and you drank too much. I don't remember it like that. No, it's not. No, I wasn't that bad when I went to bed. <laughs> Can you even remember getting home and going to bed? I don't know. It's been a while now, hasn't it? <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. Anyway, shut up and buy me a pint. I'll have a pint of Guinness. <laughs> a pint of Guinness? Well, ah, well. Fabini, eh? Off to Ireland. Yeah. Right, then we'll have a pint of Guinness for Beanie. Hey, she'll be on plane now, won't she? Yeah, she should be. She should be flying over there now. Oh, well, there we go. We'll have a pint of Guinness each for Beanie, eh? Ah, go on then. Why not? Oh, bloody hell, come on, let's get out of this rain. It'd be right, George, it's only rain. Oh, I don't know, no, no, I honour made for this. Bloody hell, you're supposed to be a farmer. I was a farmer. Now I'm technical manager. With all the technical decisions I have to make. Come on, bloody hell, I'll get you the first one. Oh, bloody hell, yes. Well, well let's go then. <laughs> That's me done. You want to stay in there no more? I'll let George do that. Hey, who? Who's this? That's Beanie. <laughs> Hello? Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> Have you got there? Yeah, just got here now. I literally just put my bags down. Wow. Oh, I'm glad you got there okay anyway. Is it is it alright? Oh, God, yeah, it's gorgeous. Oh, I'm glad. I'm really glad. That's uh, crazy. Yeah, nice one for ringing me anyway. Well, it was my plan to ring you when I got here. Well, I'm glad you have anyway. I saw you know. Oh, yeah? It was perfect. It, it was perfect. And everyone else as well, and all the pictures. It, I'll look at this every day, and it'll just remind me of when I'm coming back home. Oh, I'm glad. I'm glad, you, I'm glad you like it. So, what have you been up to, then? <laughs> Not much, really. I was out in the field, did a bit of slurry spreading, and me and George have been in the pub, so I've just come out of there, so I've left him in there. <laughs> you know how it is with George. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine he's having loads. Drinking way too much, and he'll regret it tomorrow. I'll tell you that now. <laughs> but no, I've decided to come away. But yeah, in the pub. Steady, really. Got everything done. And, you know, I really 